Hello, and welcome to uh, Landis Look on the Market. Today, I'm uh, joined by Kristen. Kristen, how are you? Good. How are you, Jesse? I'm doing. I'm doing great. You're. You would win the Room Raiders on Zoom. Your yours looks better than mine. <laughs> it took some work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mine did too, which is which is which is worse, which is sad. But uh, but yeah. So so I brought Kristen on uh, to talk about it's starting to become the end of the year of holidays, Christmas, Thanksgiving. We've started to notice more and more people reaching out to us, thinking about buying next year. Um, yeah. And what steps uh, to take if they're planning to buy next year, even, you know, next year, September, right? Like people are making goals. Right. Um, so, Kristen, if I'm, thinking of, if I'm thinking about buying next year and I'm not sure, what type of steps do I need to take? Well, I think the first step would be to talk to your agent. Um, you know, we can start having conversations about um, what that would look like, what areas you want to be in. Um, have you started talking to a lender yet? Um, if you want to go and see a couple of houses, um, we can definitely do that. So I think the first step is talking to your agent. Yeah. I mean, and that's, uh, a, people feel like they're bothering us, asking us questions or, or, or even if they're just curious about seeing a house or two to sort of understand, like they know their price range, right? Like, okay, right. I know I'm, I'm probably going to be able to afford 350. Right. Let me see let me just go see if there's houses I can get at that price range. And they feel like they're bothering us if we take them to show a couple houses, even though they're not planning to buy for nine months. But um, is that, is that true? Are your, are your clients bothering you? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, that is part of my job is to kind of help you figure it out. And, and that means maybe we go out and see a few houses, um, even if you're unsure of what area you want to be in. And maybe you don't know exactly what your budget is, but you think you have an idea because you play with some online calculators, but ultimately that's my job. Yeah, we're getting a cameo of my cat licking itself in the background. Yes, I see. <laughs> we'll try, try Thankfully, to mine on. can't there get on anything back here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I, I mean, even my close friends, they will be like, well, we were just curious about a house. We feel like we're bothering you. And you're like, no, that's literally my job is to show people houses, right? I, right, right. Um, and, and those of us who love our jobs don't mind doing that. We think right. it's fun too, so. <laughs> right, absolutely. And then I think the other thing important uh, re reaching out to your real estate agent is they probably can connect you to a lender who can help you with your goals. Is that, I mean, is that something you traditionally recommend for people? Yes, definitely. Um, I always, uh, I have a few lenders that I recommend um, and I'm always happy to connect my clients, you know, or friends with that lender, just so that they can start asking the basic questions and, and just to kind of get the ball rolling. I feel like um, sometimes there's this stigma associated with talking to the lender and people get nervous. Um, but I think just take the first step and have a conversation. Most lenders are happy to answer, um, you know, general questions for you. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is pretty nerve wracking the first time you do it too. I mean, right, yeah. I've, I've, we've been using the same lender for the team all the time and I apply for a loan. And it's like, oh, I don't want him to know this about me. <laughs> right, but yeah, but once you get through it and you start talking, yeah. you know, totally, it's fine. But, um, it is. but, and the weird thing is too, I mean, talking, I mean, just being in the industry, industry and talking to lenders is sometimes you'll think like, okay, I'm going to close this credit account. And that actually drops your credit score. Absolutely. Um, I always so tell people that um, talk to the lender first before you, you know, you do anything major, whether it's paying off a collection or um, closing a line of credit, um, anything that you may have read online would help you may or may not be the case from a lender's, especially a mortgage lender's perspective. So it's definitely a best practice to talk to them first. Right. And they all, I mean, it's just, it's such a, it's such a, I mean, it, it still is a sort of an ethereal process to me, but I, like, I mean, but all the different lenders, they don't just look at your credit rating. They have their own internal systems of how yes. to judge who to give. And so it's, that's, what's really great talking to the lender you specifically mm -hmm. are thinking you're going to um, because they can help you. They can hold your hand through their particular process, right. Right. Um, which is, which is great. So mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're thinking about seeing a house in a, uh, or thinking about buying a house anytime in the next 12 months, it's a great idea to all get ahead in touch with your real estate agent. They would love Absolutely. to show you house, uh, houses, even if you're, again, a year away from, um, from buying a house. Um, it's never too soon. 
No, not at all. But um, yeah, so let's get to the listings for the week. First up is 3705 Burryton Circle. It's a three bedroom, three and a half bathroom in Vinings near the Battery. Has some really great built-ins, an open kitchen design, has a covered patio and a rear deck, and the community has a pool. Next is 1109 Ralph Road. It's a five, four new custom construction in Woodland Hills. Designer finishes throughout, have an unfinished basement, a two car garage. It's minutes from Piedmont Park, Midtown, Morningside Nature Reserve, and Emory. All right. Well, those are our listings for the week. If you have a question about any of those listings or want to see them or any other houses uh, in Atlanta, Atlanta area, please reach out to Kristen. She'd be happy to help you or anyone else on our team, any of our other agents. So yeah, Kristen, thank you so much for joining us this week. Thank you for having me, Jesse. Absolutely. And we'll see y'all next week.